What's up, YouTube? Well, today I'm gonna try to uh, get this alternator changed out, and uh, or at least get it started. I don't know. I need. To, I'm gonna change this. Uh, I need to do the big three, and then uh, and just see. I'm just looking in here and seeing how I'm gonna do some of this stuff, but. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to change these out. I did get uh, these in. So hopefully they're going to work. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I couldn't really find anything that was exactly what I wanted. But I'm hoping these are going to work. I may even only need the negative side. I don't know. I'm going to try to get these installed. I do. Let me see. I, I'm not even sure if I have enough wire. I do have some left over from some previous jobs. But let me get this stuff out and then we'll go from there. All right. Well, I got these. I started with taking the cables off. I'm going to pull this battery out, give myself a little bit more room, and then we're going to try to assess the situation. Um, from Basically, on this power side, I just need to find a way to go from here. So I might not even change this one out. I just need to find a way to go from here to the alternator. So, I just want to get the grounds knocked out. And then, uh, once I get the grounds, I'm probably going to go to, I don't know if you can see, way down there. You know what, let me get a light. You can see the stock engine location is right there where I'm shining that light, based on that stud. So, I'm going to go from the battery negative to there. And then, I'm probably going to go from the battery negative maybe to there that's about all I have enough wire for and I hope I have enough for that so and then uh, once I get that done then we'll move on and probably try to uh, look at this naked kid over here <laughs> what's up son and uh, move on from there and then we'll just see where we go we got the battery out and then uh I got that it's a, that stud loose before I take that off though I'm gonna make an end for this uh, this cable so let's uh, let's get to doing that all right well this is what I've used in the past so eyelets and I'm gonna cover it with some of this little stretchy cover stuff of course got the wire so I'm gonna put one end on and then I'm gonna measure it put the battery in measure it exactly so I don't waste any wire all right so we got that part in there as you can see I'm you know, gonna get in there but the new uh, wire right here put the copper in so let's get the battery back in and get this all right well uh, in order to make this fit as best as possible I ended up having to basically cut this Allen key, Allen wrench, to get in there because I think this is going to be the best angle for it. So, I was, otherwise, there's no way you're going to get anything to fit in there. I mean, this thing barely fits in there, as you can see. But, um, anyways, because this is probably, this probably end up going there. I may have to change that eyelid. I'm not sure. Then I'm going to end up cutting this off and probably sticking it here. Um, and then this one, the new one, will just go somewhere into one of these other ones over here inside. Those are one off. But uh, anyways, let's give it an update. Let's keep going. Alright guys, well I'm trying not to make this video like super, super long. So let me... uh. Let me summarize what I got done so far. So, of course, I connected down here, as I sh showed before. And then I wrap, I routed that up here, got it into here, and then what I did was I made this uh, other ground that I had to make it to where it's going to fit on one of these. And then I took this where the stock ground was, so I cut that. Got one in the bottom, put an eyelid at the top, and I got that on there. This is just kind of loose fit right now. And then over here, I attached to the stock grounding point 
Actually, that light's probably blinding. Anyway, so, okay, so I, I attached right there to the stop grounding point, and I'm just going to wrap it around and then get it and figure out how I'm going to get it over here um, into this thing right here. I'm thinking I'm going to go right here on that second one. But, uh, anyways, I just want to catch up real quick on uh, what's been going on. I'm trying to do it as clean as I can using shrink wrap and, you know, this little cover sleeve and all this stuff so that's why it's taking me longer but uh let's keep going all right well we got the ground coming from over there just got these zip ties right here temporarily to see i'm pretty sure that's how i'm gonna have it though and then i got it all the way into here got the that ground over there on the bottom the one from the amp right here this one's going to the engine the one on and these are the two stock grounds Everything's just kind of loose still. Still have to tighten everything up. But um, I haven't done that because I need to start on changing out the alternator. And then uh, I have to run a one aught over to here from the alternator. Now, the only bad thing is, is I do have to run a ground from the alt. The alternator needs to be grounded, I'm pretty sure. So I may just go from here to there. But uh, I'm actually out of ground wire, so I may just use some of this uh, power wire and then just tape it or something so it's black. It's no use in trying in uh, ordering some more just for that. But uh, so I need to run one from here to here. Well, actually, let me get the alternator in. But uh, this is just summary of what I got so far. Everything's going pretty good. All right, well, here's the new McMahon alternator. There's the part number right there. You can see that, but... B820-6400B, 400 amp billet alternator. Now, this one does come with a, uh, a pigtail. So, basically, to fool your, uh, I guess, your computer and they're thinking it's fine but the alternator is uh internally regulated so that's what this little instruction is it's hot but you gotta deal with this fan kind of tells you the some instructions talks about the belt i haven't gotten a belt yet but that's because i'm not sure exactly how much smaller of a belt i'm going to need but um, so that's why I haven't gotten that yet. So it's we've got it's got a sticker. And here it is. So this is the harness that he sips you. One plugs into the uh, the original, the other one plugs in the back of the alternator, and then I'm pretty sure this needs a 12 volt switched source so when the basically when the key's on and this is it let me get it out of here and then I'll check it out that thing is beautiful but you can see here they actually actually ships you two uh deals for the this is for the negative i think because this case is probably aluminum and this is for the uh one i go into the battery But, um, so let's get this mounted on and then we'll get it wired in. All right, we got it in. Now we just need to uh, run power from here to over there. Probably just gonna follow this wire right here somehow. Get it over there, shortest run possible for that uh, power wire. Let's do it. Okay, I'm not sure where I left off, but uh, I got the power ran. That one's tightened down. I don't have it tightened down over here. I just have it kind of mocked up over there. And then I did make a ground wire to go from here to there. And uh, this is for the alternator. And this is the last piece I got to do to make stuff. And then I just have to uh, find a 12 volt source and put everything back together. All right. Well. Let's see here. So alternators in. I got the little unit plugged in that comes with the McMahon. 
plugs into the two wire harness. I got uh, the ground ran from there to here. And then of course the positive going all the way around. You can see it here. And uh, that's torqued down. That's tight. All of this is tight. This is on. All this has been tightened up. I may have to end up changing this fuse. That's a 175 amp fuse, but it's a 400 amp all thing, so I'm probably gonna end up having to change that. I do have some bigger ones, but uh, we'll we'll see. I don't have a lot. If definitely, if I was to add some stuff, uh, I may for sure. Well, I will for sure change that out. But we'll see how things go right now. Um, so this stuff's all tightened up. So basically, all that is done. The only thing left to do is to five a, find a uh, 12 volt switch source from here to this wire. So I'm gonna look in here and see if I can find something and uh, hook that up, get that all, all buttoned up, and then we'll uh, then we can test everything out. So basically, got everything buttoned up. Just looking for that 12 volt source and i did find in here says 43 miscellaneous ignition 10 amp there's 43 here so it's one two three up and you can see i found it right here so one two three and i put a little deal on it so that's why i'm going to attach it all right well I ran the wire right here all the way down you can see I just have it kind of up here I don't think that'll be a big deal it's kind of sticking up right there but uh, pretty sure this will close all the way I guess we're gonna find out I don't see anything on here that would really stop it I think let's have this though I'm going to try to be careful, but let's clip this thing on. All right. Well, I mean, it clipped on no problem. I didn't feel anything, you know, trying to stop it or anything. But uh, that's, I mean, that's it. We're done. So we got the big three done. Adding the one out going. You know, I got it over here. I got it down here. I ran the one out from the alternator over here. Uh, redid all the terminals uh, the factory ones on the ground and then just kind of uh, cleaned up this whole area and then added right here from the alternator and we're done so anyways this video I know this is gonna be a kind of a long video I'm gonna probably delete a lot of the crap or just I mean edit it out um, I don't want to make this like you know two hour video but this did take me some time it took me about probably about three and a half four hours total to do it so you know but of course you want to be careful You're trying to make it look nice um you know i mean it's just custom stuff so there's no uh there's no instructions to tell you exactly how to do this stuff you just do it how uh the best of your ability so anyways uh hope this helps somebody out there Doing the big three. This is a NNBS new new body style, 2012 GMC Sierra. Installed the McMahon, at 400 amp, and then did it with the uh, to basically bypass the factory. Uh, I think it's the uh, what do you call it? The BMS or so it by it bypasses that. So the computer doesn't regulate it no more. The alternator will regulate it. I did look down here it's kind of hard to see but I do have a little bit of tension left on that belt so we're gonna see but I may order like a half inch shorter belt it dropped about a quarter inch from where it was before maybe a little bit more maybe like a half inch so but it according to that I think there's still some tension in it so I probably will order that belt and that'll be easy to slap on no big deal but uh, let's start it up and uh, make sure everything's working okay.
have this little cage right here that tells me um, the voltage says it's 14.9. I'm I'm wondering if that's actually reading the voltage. I think it is though. I can hear that alternator. Let's go check it out. I started the truck up before and I did not hear hear that, but I think the alternator is actually working now. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's, uh, let's check the voltage. There it is. 14.8. So that, on that Android radio, that definitely is reading the actual voltage. So that's pretty cool because I don't have a voltmeter in this truck. So that's actually nice. But uh, yeah, man, everything looks to be working good. So, hey, one more project done. You know, slowly but surely getting this thing together. I mean, I haven't even cleaned it since I got it back uh, from Albert. But, um, you know, well, because I was planning on doing all this stuff. I got to I still got to polish the wheels. I, I might just get it, take take it in and get it detailed. I don't know. But it, anyways, I know I'm rambling. This is something I really wanted to get done. That alternator looks so beautiful in there. But engine bay is dirty. It'll look much better once I get everything cleaned up. But uh, anyways, I won't take up any more of your time. This is the uh, McMahon 400 amp at Big 3 install. Signing off. Like and subscribe. Peace.